When you build a prediction model with Einstein, how do you know that you have a good model? Well, today we're going to find out. In a previous video, we built a prediction model from medical appointment no-shows. We used these 11 fields, and Einstein built us a prediction model that was good. But after I looked through the list view and generated a few quick reports, I was not really satisfied, so I created a new prediction model. This time, I used these seven fields listed on the screen. One thing to note is that you cannot edit a prediction model's fields, but you can create a new model. Again, the model quality of the new model was good. The within 24 hours was the top predictor as before, but this time the term days diff was included and it turned out to be a top predictor as well which tells us the further out someone makes an appointment, the more likely they are to be a no-show. And the previous no-shows was also a top predictor, as was age. As before, I added the new field to a list view, and I created a dashboard to give some more insight into the prediction model. As expected, Einstein predicted the outcome for 3,432 records. One of the things you'll notice about all the charts in the dashboard is that I created buckets for the prediction ranges to make the visualizations more relevant. From the donut chart we just saw, we can hover over one of the prediction bucket colors to see the total of, of record, total number of records. We can see that Einstein scored many records with a score in the range of 11 to 15. Another donut chart is devoted strictly to the 653 no-shows. One of the things we can do is to drill down on things from the chart we want to investigate. In our example here, we looked at no-shows with a very low score and we found that they all made appointments within 24 hours and they all had zero previous no-shows. So Einstein predicted as expected, but to improve the model, we might want to provide data indicating how many times a person previously showed up for an appointment. A previous no-show of zero is different for someone whose first time it is to the clinic versus someone who successfully completed a dozen prior appointments and had zero no-shows. This chart shows us that there are some records that received a high score but did not result in a no-show. So perhaps they received a text or phone call from the clinic to remind them of their appointment. It could be helpful to improve our model if we knew which patients received reminders. The dashboard was created from four separate charts. And the dashboard, along with a few list views, gives us confidence that the prediction model is good, has allowed us to identify other potential variables that might help to improve our model, and allows the business to go on to the next step of using the information to minimize no-shows and to monitor the results. Thank you, and if you have any questions, please reach out to me on Twitter or LinkedIn.